It's been a long road to redemption. I'm needing lots of time to heal. Everything in the past is such a big, big deal. The guys who have found that redemption have obviously used their failings as motivation and I think that's what you have to do. It's a tough school out here, it's a tough game, it always has been and it always will be. Number one for Ricky! Well it was definitely a monkey up on back and we finally get the first win and in a kind of fun exciting fashion in the playoff. There's a lot of pressure on Ricky's shoulders because he's the next big thing everyone expected him to win quick and it's tough to win out here. Redemption comes in many forms, revitalizing rising stars and established veterans alike. There's a lot of players trying to rebuild their careers. Guys who have been around for a while, rebuilding on things that uh, have gone wrong and re-establishing themselves in the game of golf. One such player was Ben Curtis, who entered 2012 winless since 06. After a couple years, then you start hearing about, well, is it a fluke and all this stuff? And I didn't think it was bothering me that much until I won. And then you realize all that emotion was there. And I knew if I just worked hard, that good things would happen. So his first trip to San Antonio, and Ben Curtis leaves as the champion. One of the most improbable tales of redemption came from second year pro Kyle Stanley, looking for his first career win. He took a three-shot lead to the 18th hole at Torrey Pines. But then, disaster struck. Well, he's driven that one in low. That one will spin. Perfect. Oh, easy, oh, easy, oh, easy. Oh, easy. Hang on, hang on. You got to be kidding. You got to be kidding me. The force. It's all right. It's all right. You what, do you sure? are, what do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, oh this is kidding. incredible. You are kidding me. It stopped twice. Stanley would go on to lose to Brant Snedeker in a playoff but heroically bounced back the following week at the Waste Management Phoenix Open. That's really, really nicely done. He used that half pipe and funneled it on the green. That's amazing. The biggest thing for me was showing myself that I had what it took to bounce back and recover from that. And, and that, to me, almost meant more than, than winning the tournament. You never know how people are going to react to those kind of situations, to lose a tournament at Torrey Pines and then come back the next week and make that putt when you had to. Showed a lot of guts. Yes! Kyle Stanley. You couldn't keep him down for long, could you? For Stanley and many other players, 2012 was truly the year of redemption.